everybody, it's JP Shimoga here. I'm here with another video. I um on this video I'm actually gonna be talking to you guys about this uh <laughs> this thing's been on for around for a while. Actually since it's been around since Google has been up. Um but it's kind of been overlooked. So I know you guys a lot of you guys are internet marketers or starting out or have been seasoned and you've been here for doing it for a number of years. But um for those of you who are still just not joining, maybe you might need a little tidbit as far as how to grow your business, how to grow your following, how to grow a list. This method is actually perfect. Um, I actually stumbled upon this by trying to grow my old list. Of course, I have multiple lists, but my thing is with me, I have a hard time actually continuously following up with that list. So that's something I'm going to be working on between now and the beginning of next year, so that way I can, I can perfect that and also continue to do that. Um, throughout all of next year and so on and so forth. So um, with this, it is actually going to be Google Groups. Now, we can get to this link is a quote by clicking the link at the bottom of my of my video, and it's basically groups that groups .google .com, and you will be able to see this link right here. Make sure, of course, you're logged into whatever account that you're trying to get the group for. The reason why I use it uh, because in the past I have used uh, email. Fast mail, pro, fast mail or pro, which is good. But my thing is with that is um, you have to make sure that you, of course, set it a, a certain amount of time per email. And I had so many emails that they were going out kind of quickly, but also they were coming back as spam. So when people would get them, they would automatically just think that it was possibly spam or whatever it was. So it wasn't making, and it wasn't really helping me as far as that aspect went, and because my list was so big. So I had to really condense and think of a better a better option. Then I tried Mailchimp. Um, Mailchimp is pretty cool. Uh, they do give you up until two thousand members or two thousand emails. But of course, you um, if if you haven't been promoting like you should have, a lot of people will forget that you actually have an email to whatever you're trying to do. So if you if you try to email it, then maybe like months after the fact, they're gonna spam you automatically. It'd be like you know they didn't give you permission to add it to no list, such and such that type of stuff. Which is why it's important to follow up with your list, so that way you will not have that problem. Trial and error, right? So things that you learn, things you, that you learn from your experience, and you do better for the next one. Um, haven't used Aweber as of yet, but I figured I'm gonna hold, hold off on that only because that it does start off with a free trial, and then from there you do pay every month to continue to use their service. Now I'm pretty sure that it does wonders. Um, just for me right now, um, just making sure that I am I have a better knowledge of what I'm doing. Before I go and start piling on money and something else that I that I should be able to use to my benefit, if that makes any kind of sense. So in the meantime, I'm helping myself and helping you all out who want to do something that won't cost you as much or maybe might cost you close to nothing. So Google Groups is definitely a great way to go. Um, it, you can use it as a mailing list. All you have to do is basically create your group, add and invite your members by email. Of course, you speak to them first, and once they do that. Then they will actually accept the invitation, and then from there, they will be able to um, see your new emails as they come in. And all that you'll be doing is creating new topics, and those topics will be sent off as emails. So I'm actually going to show you guys a snippet of how that works. And with this one, if you go to Google's, Google Group's webpage, you actually will see this here, the create a group. And you can also get a list of your groups. So if you already have groups created, then you can, you can go ahead and go to the list of the groups. Like, for example, this is... Uh, my one of my design groups that I actually recently created, and I actually have this link here. So um, it actually gives you a description of what you have, and what you're gonna send them. Of course, what they'll see when they try to join into the group, and you can also send them the link to the group to actually join in themselves. Um, if you want to create a new group, you can come here to create a new group, and I'm actually going to. Uh, this is what it would look like, but I actually created a group myself. So this one is actually for love rewards. As you guys know, I promote level rewards too. Um, it's not for everybody. So I'm just go ahead and say that right there. If you don't like doing offers, if you don't care for trying to, I'm not gonna say converting a couple bucks to a hundred, but if you are looking for something that's completely free, as far as like there's no information that you have to give or anything like that, then don't sign up for level rewards. But if you are interested in enjoying a company that gives you the opportunity to grow, to make money, and basically if you are if you have experience with marketing and you are learning, you want to learn more about marketing, this will definitely help you out with that. 
Um, I maybe spent two or three dollars for mine, and I was able to make my first fifty bucks from there. Um, from my sponsor, and then from there, I was able to help other people do the same thing. And that's basically all I spent was three dollars. So it's just basically continuous money from there. It by basically showing people how to do the same thing. Um, so I went ahead and filled this out, and I'm gonna go ahead and go through the steps with you guys. Put your group name, your group email address. Of course, this would be the email address right here. The group description. And put uh under J Nice B Haitian logo. Okay. And then of course your primary language, the kind of group is gonna be. You know, I select the email list, but you can create any of these. Keep in mind just because it's an email list doesn't mean you won't be able to have those same discussions in there, so you will be able to have topics where people can actually comment under and get any kind of help that they might need as far as that goes as well. Um, you've got your basic permissions, you can do topics, uh, I got it right now set to all members of the group. That way only, only, so that way anybody who's actually in the group can actually comment in the group. I don't want just anybody being in it unless they are a member. Same thing here, post, or members of the group, and people can join anyone who asks. Anyone can ask. Alright? Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it as far as that goes. And it's really simple, that's just the entrance of it. Then you go and hit create. Of course, they can ask you to identify yourself, so that will make sure you do not spam. You are not a robot, and you select that. It's going to give you a check mark, and then hit continue. And it's going to be a link to your group right here, and it says, "Congratulations, group has been created." Awesome! You can invite people to the group. Customize group settings, add topic, and start posting. Now, with this one, uh, link to my Google profile, show my photo and post. Okay, you can do that, I don't mind. Use the nickname, <clears throat> and I can just put a J. Nice. Okay, <clears throat> and then of course, that's how I would look to other people. You can save the changes. Okay, this one doesn't have a welcome message as of yet, so you can create one. Uh, I was advised you to create a welcome message. Only because it lets people know, of course, like, hey, you know, why am I in this group? So you put welcome to level up with J using level rewards. If you are in this group, you have recently signed up with level rewards. For more help, more to in depth help, um, assistance on offers, or help getting leads, referrals for your business. Mm. Comment under the topics mm, below. All right. And, uh, yeah, let's leave it like that. Um, or you can add me on Facebook. This link. This link. More specific. That's it. All right. So then, from there, now this is where I say, uh, when you want to create a new topic, when you create a new topic, I'm not gonna post any right now. I I would like to, but I probably won't post it in this specific video. Um, well, let's see. Because with this topic, what I could do is, uh, so you sign up. Rewards. What's next? All right? And then from there we can do you can give them a description of what you want them to do next, those types of things. Um what I've noticed I thought I could be completely wrong, but if I create this post I wanted to save it or change it later, I might not be able to, but it could definitely be something you can look into. Um 
But I do have steps for people who actually want to sign up for uh, Love Rewards. So what I would do is, of course, create your own information or whatever you're trying to do. Because um, at the end of the day, you want to make sure it makes it easy on uh, these steps to get it approved for payments with Love Rewards. Um, confirm your account via email. Complete on credit offer and receive credit. It's literally it for that to get approved. Um, to watch my video on how I got my first payment. So now I'll wait for this. See, and then I would look at Love Rewards. It's gonna be this video. I think I have another one, I believe. Yeah, let me use this one first. Instead of first paying to do a uh, video on how to get registered, qualified. And then from there, hit post. And see, so now they got that. That's another video. So now, how you can actually add members, you can click on your members. And if you only have the one, of course. You can go to manage, and then from here, you will be able to, right here, you can hit invite members, and it will allow you to include your email addresses, put your email, comma, another email, comma, and put your invite. You know, you put thanks for joining, or thanks for asking for more information on the rewards, or thanks for joining the rewards. <clears throat> That's what I would probably do. Jake. Thanks for joining. I don't want a bunch of people on here who's not even in it. Joining Love Rewards. And then where I would get my people at would be from Love Rewards itself. Not just this company. You could use it for any other company. And I would probably select the people who have recently joined. So like this right here. Um, and then come back up to my group. And put a comma. Go back down here. My group, and then put another column, and then I probably wouldn't go further than August. And keep in mind, don't forget that sometimes even the money that you, even the money that you have, um, and of course, just send invites. Even the people that you are contacting through email, your email list. They can also be turned into um, paid leads, so don't hesitate to reach out to them because they are I obviously had an interest, and I just keep their interest. So that's all I have for this video as far as how to create that email list, get that started, and you can see it's as easy as, as ever. So um, definitely let me know what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, y'all have a beautiful day.